Hi, my name is Randy Rolf, and I'm the president of the Institute for Creative Solutions, and I'm sharing foundational concepts of vibrant health through natural living in short videos uh, almost every day. And today I want to talk about uh, a wonderful concept that was described in the biology of belief. And it's really important that we be aware that the epigenetics science is extremely important. It's not just about how our genes are designed to express, but it's how environment affects how our genes are expressed. And that's where the epigenetics happens. And a lot has to do with our belief. And the, the medical world is starting to recognize the importance of uh, contemplation, uh, meditation, spirituality, uh, but not as, not as the primary method, but as a context in which the body functions better, because if your mind is relaxed, you're not causing the same buildup of acids uh, from anxiety and worry. And so the mind affects the body and it affects how the um, genetic material that's outside our actual chromosomes turns on and turns off the different genes. So uh, if you believe that you can get well, you are much more likely to get well, not because it's magical, but because the mind and body work together. And the same as uh, prayer and spirituality, when you believe that, you know, that uh, your divine power is on your side, chances are your, your body is going to relax and work better because of the way our chemistry responds to what we're thinking. So Bruce Lipton's book is a, a great way to really learn that it's not just uh, that you're programmed to any, have any particular kind of chronic problem. Almost anything can be changed by adjusting your environment to support your health and adjusting the uh, emotional and intellectual environment as well as your physical environment. So what you believe, uh, if you believe your body works, it's much more likely to work. If you hurt yourself and you think your body can make it better or, you know, the placebo effect is all about believing that the medicine's going to work or believing that your caring doctor is really going to help you. All of these things feed into our basic chemistry of how our genes uh, react and express themselves. Uh, it, so it's not built in uh, genetically that you're going to have um, heart problems or be a diabetic. Uh, it may be just a tendency and with good thinking, positive thinking and physical adjustments to minimize the effects on your body of uh, poor diet or lack of exercise or poor sleep or um, other environmental things, then you're much less likely to have any uh, nasty genetic tendencies show up in your life. So that's the message for today. Randy Rolf from the Institute for Creative Solutions. Please visit me at www.randyrolf.com, R-A-N-D-Y-R-O-L-F-E. And if you like this video, please click like and share it with others. Thanks.